it's Steffi and welcome back to my channel. So today we are in my dressing room because we are going to be talking about my favorite pieces in my wardrobe for a business casual work attire. So a few years ago I had filmed a video about the basic classic pieces start building your work wardrobe if you're just getting out of college or you're just starting to work for a company that has a business casual attire. So today's video hopefully it'll help you see how you can add a little bit of your own personal style into your wardrobe not necessarily using the things that I am sharing with you. Hopefully it'll just help you maybe experiment a little bit more. These things are not necessities it's more just tips for you know my sisters who want a little bit of sprucing to their everyday wardrobe without further ado let's just jump right into the video so the first category is going to be bottoms so I wanted to start out with skirts first this skirt that I'm wearing is a skirt from Uniqlo it's high-waisted there's a nice elastic to the band so it's quite snug but it's not uncomfortable it has pockets and it is a knee length skirt your preferences change obviously and I personally have been loving longer length skirts sophisticated look this one here is actually from loft it, this is not a super long length so go watch my business casual video because I talk about like appropriate lengths and stuff like that so this skirt is the shortest that I would feel comfortable wearing at work personally and the way I like to balance it out is if I'm wearing a shorter type of skirt I'll always wear them with flats I think that if I add them with like one of my high heels it kind of looks a little too leggy for my taste in fall and winter I love pairing these with some opaque tights and I'll wear those with heels, usually booties actually, or mules. But I feel like because you're wearing the tight, it doesn't look as leggy. Find a balance for what makes you feel comfortable when you're at work as well. Skirts from Loft, they have a lot of really cute styles. And a trick is to just keep checking their sales section. I don't think I have ever bought anything from Loft at full price because I know it's going to go on sale. So the next style that I also like, this is a midi length skirt. And I know it's like a cheetah print that might be a little loud and in your face. But I like to balance it out. Usually I like to have one statement piece in my outfit. And so whenever I'm wearing this, this is my statement piece. It is a midi length, so it hits me about mid-calf and to balance this out uh, because I am petite I like to wear them with nude heels I'll show you all my favorite type of heel very shortly but I like to wear them with nude heels because it'll elongate your leg if I'm wearing a super tight skirt like this I will always have a longer cardigan over my bum area I personally just am not comfortable with you know that bodycon look out and about like that but if I'm covering my bum area it makes you feel a little bit more comfortable this skirt i got from asos i love asos they have a petite range there that is stylish affordable next are my favorite kind of pants so the first one here that you can see it is actually a ponty knit legging from loft because it is a tighter fit on your bottom area i always wear something where it covers my butt and the front because you don't want no camel toe showing you know and I have a blouse that is one of my favorite blouses that I will be showing y'all here very shortly. Also a favorite of mine during the fall and winter. I'll wear it with booties, but also I will wear it with heels and with mules and even with flats at times. And it's in a petite size, very thick. It's not see-through, so these are my favorite. I'm going to have everything linked in the description box that I can find. Because a lot of the things that I'm showing y'all I've had for years. So I will try my best to find at least the current version of them. Cigarette trousers. They are by Topshop. I bought this pair at Nordstrom and they're just flattering. They don't have any pleating or anything like that. If you want a basic pair of black slacks, this is a great option. High-waisted. It has a kind of slimmer look to the leg, but it's not skin tight. And this is the perfect length for any petite ladies like myself, is an ankle cigarette trouser, and it's super affordable. It was only like $40. So versatile, like I can wear it with blouses, with shells, with a cardigan on top, sweaters. If there's anything that you end up getting, I would definitely get those trousers. And then lastly, this is also another favorite pant of mine. These are by Leith. They are a drapey fit of a trouser. They have pockets, also 
the Topshop ones also have pockets. They don't have any belt loops though, so it's an elastic band at the top. Really just like the way that they drape when you wear them. And they're just really roomy and comfy. My two favorite jeans, if you have a casual Friday at your office, both of these are great options. This is the Topshop Jamie jean. It's the best fitting skinny jean that I have personally found. Depending on the fit and the style, I will usually get either a petite or a regular length. The regular length hits me just fine. I may need to like flip up the hem every now and then when I first get them and they haven't shrunk in the wash or anything. They're super stretchy, they're high-waisted, and they're really skinny. These always go on sale too, y'all. So I typically will buy mine from Nordstrom and you just have to constantly check back, but you can get these for half off. If you can buy a good pair of jeans for $40, um, get y'all a bunch. I got a bunch, y'all. The second pair of jeans that is literally my favorite is from ASOS, Farley Slim Mom Jeans, and they come in a petite, regular, tall size. I can wear both a petite or a regular inseam. These are high-waisted. They are a mom jean. Leg like area definitely is a lot more roomy than a skinny jean. I think that they're very flattering, and I personally love the style of it. These as well will go on sale, so just keep checking back on ASOS and you can get them for like 40 bucks. They're really good. Segwaying into the tops, I wanted to actually talk about a undergarment that I think is super, super, super important, and that is the bodysuit. All of my bodysuits are from a brand called Yummy Tummy. So this is what it looks like. It basically looks like a bathing suit. This one is in a thong style. They do have it where it's regular panty style. In my previous video, I talked about these camisoles that I love that when you have like maybe a shirt that's a little bit more see-through to wear a camisole. No matter what kind of camisole I'll find, it always tends to bunch up or roll up here at the bottom. In that video, I showed a camisole and then also a high-waisted thong that I love as well. I still do love it. But I was like, why can't there be those two things combined. So I looked and they actually do have it combined, which is this, this bodysuit. If I have a low cut shirt or a shirt that is see-through, wear this instead and it keeps everything looking super streamlined. It also has a slightly compressing effect. You're not gonna see any bunching here of your tank top underneath or your camisole underneath. These have been literally a staple of mine in my closet. The ones by Yummy Tummy have snaps at the bottom, which is great for when you go to the restroom. If you find one that you like that doesn't have snaps, it's okay, you just pull to the side. <laughs> Moving on to tops. Talked about my favorite blouses in my other video, so y'all check that out for like basic staple pieces. But here I just wanted to show a few options. One of the ways I like to share my sense of style is that I personally like cold shoulder tops. Some people may not like it, some may, people may. My rule of thumb is if my strap is thick, it's not like a spaghetti strap, I think that's perfectly fine because in the summer, in Texas, at least, we wear shells. A thicker strap, don't wear a spaghetti strap to work. I don't think that's appropriate. So for example, I wouldn't wear this shirt to work because it's got, it's got a spaghetti strap. If it maybe had a thicker one, I, I might. With that being said, I do like cold shoulder tops. So this one here is by BP from Nordstrom. So that's one way I like to share my sense of style. And this is the lush blouse that I was talking to y'all about earlier where it's long in the front and in the back. So it is great to pair with leggings from Loft. It's great to wear with skinny jeans, and you can even just tuck it into a skirt. Like this skirt, I could tuck it into it, and it'd be totally fine. So this is a very versatile blouse. It's one of my favorites. It's like their Henley cut. So it definitely is a deep V though, so that's why you gotta wear a bodysuit underneath it. But this is definitely one of my favorite blouses, one of my go-tos. I have it in several colors. So both of these I bought from Nordstrom. I like going to Nordstrom and I especially like looking at the BP section because they have cuter, more stylish pieces that aren't super expensive. So the other tops that I wanted to kind of talk to y'all about more are crop tops. So I know a crop top maybe sounds a little controversial if you're gonna be wearing it to work. Of course, you don't want a crop top that's like right underneath your breast or anything like that. I'm talking about just a blouse or a shell that is of a shorter length. This front crop blouse is from Topshop and then this shell that I got is from BP. What I love about a shorter shirt length is that 
it's very easy to do a half tuck. I share all of my outfits over on Instagram and all of them basically have me with a front tuck of my blouse or my shirt. So these are perfect because I wear high-waisted things and with the shorter length, it's so easy to just do like a half tuck in the front and then that way you don't have like a ton of fabric scrunched up right here. So that's not always super flattering. You have to like tuck it down and make sure it's laying flat. Lasers and jackets and cardigans. First is this super flowy light cardigan. This is from Unique Low and I have it in several colors. It's great for when you want to cover your bum a little bit more. So for example, that bodycon skirt, I'll wear one of these cardigans to kind of cover my butt so you can't see it. They're lightweight and it has pockets too. I like to call this my robe at the office. I have this outfit that I like to wear that's like my slipper and robes outfit. It's basically flat mules with this. And it feels like I'm wearing a robe and slippers at work, which I love, you know? This is a fun blazer. It's linen. It's a boyfriend fit, so it's much longer as you can see. I also really like stripes. Stripes is one of my favorite things. So this has like these white stripes in it. This is by BP. It's oversized. I got it in an extra small, I believe. Yeah. So it's oversized, but it's great whenever you have like a tighter fitting outfit. This is a great way to balance it out with a little bit more of a looser fit jacket. These knit jackets is from Loft. So again, you can get this on sale. Do not pay full price. You can either get it on sale or they'll have some kind of discount code. These are knit jackets, so they're a lot more comfortable than a traditional blazer. You know, a traditional blazer has that like polyester feel to it, so it's not as roomy and stretchy. I want to be comfortable while still looking stylish, so these are perfect for that. Because they're knit, they feel like a sweater, but they're structured like a blazer or a jacket. Even just a basic outfit, for example, black slacks and a blouse, and you throw this on top, it just makes you look a little bit more stylish, you know, if you care to, to even do that. Last but not least, I wanted to talk to y'all about my favorite heel. These are by Ivanka Trump. Literally, they are the most comfortable, flattering heel that I have ever worn. I think I got my first pair two and a half years ago, and I have grown my collection since then, and I'm trying to stock up now because they are literally my favorite. They are so flattering, they look so good, they make your legs, your feet, everything look so good. So as a petite woman, I definitely like anything that makes me look a little bit taller, elongates my leg, and I feel like pointy toes or almond shaped toes definitely do that. So this one here is called the Caden heel and I would definitely size down in the Caden. I went down a half size. They're very similar to my absolute favorite heel which I will show you all here in a second. They look super tall as you can see. I don't know if you guys can really tell or not. They are so dang comfortable. One thing I will say about Ivanka Trump is that she knows how to make a comfortable ass heel and I'm so sad that they're going away so I'm stocking up. This is the newer pair that I got of my Cara heels and they are literally so perfect. In the Cara, they, I wear my regular size, so I'm a seven and a half, that's what I get in the Cara. There's not a huge amount of difference between them. They run out of a certain color in one style, check it out in the other style. I think the Cara are a little bit more pointy, but other than that, they're pretty much the same. But y'all, seriously, get your hands on these while you can. They will make you look so dang good, girl. All right, y'all, so those are my favorite style pieces in my wardrobe right now for business casual attire. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, it helps me gauge what kind of content y'all want me to film in the future. Don't forget to be a part of our Subby fan because we would love to have you. And I will talk to y'all in my next video. For those of y'all who, oh shit. I think that in the cards, did I point in the right direction? I get confused whenever I'm not filming in my usual spot. So anyways, I'm sweating y'all. I'm your sister, hashtag friendly sisterly advice. Get you a thong bodysuit, okay? Thirsty again. Lady, kind of lady person. Lady person. Those ponty, with those ponty, ponty. Whew. All right, y'all, I'm sweating now. Whew. It gets hot talking about clothes and I really gotta go pee.